For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. He gave his only begotten Son. That's charity. Anybody can say love. And love is overdone in the music, it's overdone in the film, in television. But for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And the Bible records, and most know the verse, saying God is love. And when we look at the word love, and we look at God, the love of God, and the principle of love is Jesus Christ. And the fact is that God is love, and Jesus Christ is the love of God. And if you do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, and you're not known of God by Jesus Christ, the Savior, then you don't know what love is. Because you cannot be of God, reject Jesus Christ, and know what love. And the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace. Now the world has its love, the world has its joy, and the world has its peace. God has His love. And believe it or not, love of God is when a man stands up with a Bible and tells you what God expects you to do by your free will is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Because God wants to proclaim one thing. I am not here to proclaim Baptist. I'm not here to proclaim money. I'm here to proclaim the love of God, and that's Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you do not know what love is, for God is love. And many people will say, well, you need to preach more love. And when you preach about Jesus Christ, you have the most love that God is able to provide for you. And that love is Jesus Christ. That love is not a rock and roll. And a rock and roll is by words for sexual lust of love in the back seat of a car. That's not God. The holy and righteous God, love is not sexual. It's not lustful. And in the realm of the world, love is temporal. Love can come at the end of a divorce. Love can come at death. Love can come at the abandonment. And yet the Bible says if you were to put your love upon the love of God of Jesus Christ and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says never to be forsaken. I'll never leave thee or forsake thee. That no one's able to pluck those that have believed on Jesus Christ from God. Love of God is forever. But the love of God is through Jesus Christ. The love of God is not baptism. It's not a church. It's not what you can do. It's what Jesus Christ has done. And the very fact is the love of God is the gospel. The Bible says go in all the world and preach the gospel. The love of God is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the love of God. Now someone told us earlier Satan loves you. 
they got it totally wrong because Satan does not have love. Satan is a small G-O-D. Satan is a God, but he ain't the God. And nowhere in the scriptures does it say Satan is love. Satan hates God. Satan hates Jesus Christ. Satan hates anything that's the way of righteousness. He battles. He just tries to destroy. And he'll even destroy his own people. You see, if you think you're in with Lucifer, Satan, the devil, he will drag you to the same devil's hell that he and his angels are going to. And he will do it without batting one of his eyes. And he will do it most happily that he has dragged the soul away from God. When the soul goes off into eternity to burn forever in hell. Satan enjoys that because there's no more love, there's no more grace, there's no more mercy to that soul in hell. As Satan will get when he burns in the lake of fire. But love spoken about in the Bible is through God. God is love. And in his love, he says, Go in all the world and preach the gospel. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. So again, the love of God is Jesus Christ. The love of God is not Mary. It's not your leftover Easter candy. It's not in good works or bad work. It's not being good. When the Bible says there is none that do it good. The good one. The righteous one. The holy one. The love of God is through Jesus Christ. And only by Jesus Christ. And you're going to enter into heaven on nothing but the love of God. There is no other entrance into God except by the love of God. And it's pretty amazing that the street preacher today is going to preach about that love and yet Every day that we are here within the last four years, when I mention what Jesus Christ has suffered and died according to the scriptures, and when he was buried, and he arose from the grave the third day, <coughs> according to the scriptures, that's the love of God. If I get up here and say, you know, give me $10, I'll give you a spiritual rag and they don't call by 1-800 number. That's not love. If you buy my book for 1995 on shipping and hit, that's not love. The love of God is the suffering Savior, Jesus Christ. Isaiah 53. The love of God is the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That's the love of God, and it's Jesus Christ. Jesus means Jehovah saves. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? The devil's hell. God does not want you to go to hell. God's not willing that any should perish. But they all would repent and get right through his son. And when you're to believe or have believed on Jesus Christ as your Savior, you have done the love of God. And when you have rejected Jesus Christ, and you have put off the salvation grace of Jesus Christ, 
You have rejected the love. You have taken sides with Satan. And you will fall off into a place of eternity of hell. No love, no joy, and no peace. And no mercy and no grace. And yet, if you want the love, and you want the mercy, and you want the grace, and you want to go to heaven, You've got to come through the door. And Jesus said, I am the door. And John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And the fact is that we are all sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. So when you say, oh, I'm going, to, I'm going to heaven because I go to church. Going to church is not the love of God. It is not Jesus. I've got a religion. You've got a religion. That is not Jesus Christ, the love of God. Religion is a dying a dozen plus shipping and handling. Anybody can get into a religion. Anybody can take a Bible verse out of context and come up with a flock of people to follow you into the realms, into the smoke of the lake of fire that burns forever. Anybody can do that. You don't have to do anything to go into hell. Or you can do everything to go into hell. You can live your life, eat, drink, be merry, die, and go off into hell. You can be born, eat, drink, get a career, go to church, and go to hell. You can be born, live your life homeless, destitute, and believe on the love of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and be saved, and die, and be absent from the body, and present with the Lord. Jesus Christ is not only the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, that we are all sinners. But that is Jesus Christ, the love of God. You want mercy from God, you come to Jesus Christ. You want to go to heaven, you come to the love of God, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And that same of love of God, Jesus Christ himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So the love of God, Jesus Christ says, you can't get to the Father except by me. It's impossible. And to continue to be appreciated by God is to receive the love of God, Jesus Christ. Anything else is hatred. Everything else will make God angry. Everything else is the wrath of God. In the words of John the Baptist, he that has the Son has everlasting life. And he that has not the Son shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's either the love of God or it's the wrath of God. And religion is the wrath of God. Your good works is the wrath of God. Jesus Christ is the love of God. It's that simple. Hell is full of good people. 
Heaven is full of people that have received Jesus Christ as their Savior. There is no good people. There is no good people in heaven. But there are good people in hell. You say, well, preacher, how can you say that? Because those that get to heaven get to heaven by the goodness and the riches and the righteousness of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You may call yourself a Christian, and you may not be a Christian. They will go to hell too. You see, the definition of the biblical Christian is one that has received the love of God, Jesus Christ, by faith plus nothing else. The day I got saved, April 25th, 1987, Christ Jesus did it all. I did nothing. as with any saved sinner. The merit of Jesus Christ is what will save your soul. Not what you can do. Not where you can go. Not who you are. You can be the most vilest, wicked person on this planet Earth and receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and be saved and die and be absent from the body and present with the Lord. You can be the President of the United States, you can be a Governor of the 50 States, you can be the most richest person in the world, and you trust anything but the love of God, Jesus Christ, you will die and you will wake up in hell with their eyes. The Bible says about the man in hell, he had his eyes, he had tongues, he had a finger, and he wanted mercy and he never got it. He said, in hell, in the devil's reign, there is no love. Satan doesn't know love. And yet, First John records, God is love. And that love is Jesus Christ. Everybody cover up, guys. That's it. You cannot say, I love God, and reject Jesus Christ. You know, you can't even turn to your spouse and say, Honey, I love you, and without God and Jesus Christ, you don't even know what love is. The part of the marriage vows that's rejected today, for the better or for the worse, and when the worst comes in America, you leave each other. That was no love. That was lust. That's not God. Satan will leave you at the drop of a hat. And the God of the Bible and the God of love and the God of Jesus Christ said, I'll never leave thee or forsake thee. For God is love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You know what Allah says? Allah says, take those infidel heads off. Kill them. That's not love. You know what the Catholic Church has done through the dark ages, through the time of periods to those Bible believers? They had persecuted them. They had rejected them. They had tortured them. Inquisition. That's not love. You know what religion will do if you get right and you go against their way? They will ostracize you. They will reject you. They will tell their congregation have nothing to do with you no more. That's not love. The love of God is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are adopted by God. You become a child of God through the love of God, Jesus Christ. And you become part of the family. And you will get the love, joy, peace. Patience by the Holy Spirit that's given to you. You know what Satan will give you for your sins? The wages of sin is death. That's Satan. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That gift of God. 
Why do you give a gift? Because you love somebody. I know sometimes you may give a gift because you have to. I know sometimes you may give a gift because you have to. But God has given us Jesus Christ because He wants to. Because He loves to. And not only that, but Jesus Christ has given Himself. He has come to be your sacrifice. He has suffered and died according to the Scriptures because He loves us. But He was buried as you would do with any dead man. But unlike any dead man, three days and three nights, he arose out of that grave according to the scriptures, and that is the gospel. But when we start off with John 3.16, when we have that, the Bible says, for God so loved the world. You know that love in the world in the King James Bible is past tense? It's L-O-V-E-D. The love of God in John 3.16 is past tense. So, the love of God ended when Jesus Christ suffered and died on that cross. Some preachers may disagree with that. You see, when I say that love is past tense, if you reject Jesus Christ today as your Savior, there is no more love of God in your life. You see, John says if you don't have the Son, you face the wrath of God. And when you got the wrath of God, you don't have love. I'm a Catholic, you're not saved. I'm a Baptist, you're not saved. I do good things, you're not saved. I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, you are saved. And you have the love of God. I utterly reject Jesus Christ, but God loves me. Absolutely not. You cannot say God loves you and reject Jesus Christ. You cannot. Well, you can say it, but it's a lie. And the Bible says, Thou shalt not bear false reports. In order to come to the love of God, you must come to Calvary, Jesus Christ, and believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. And that moment you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, that moment the love of God moves into your life. And God will adopt you into his family and you will become a child of God through Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit will come and indwell with you, in you, by the love of God. And then with the Holy Spirit, by the love of God, by you receiving the love of God, Jesus Christ, you will get the fruit singular of the Holy Spirit. And guess what those fruits are? Love. So if you do not have God, if you do not have Jesus Christ, you do not have the Holy Spirit, and you do not have love. You have no idea what love is. And you will stand before the love of God, Jesus Christ, condemned at the great white throne judgment. When the words of the one that's loved you and died for you 
will say to you on that day, depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That don't sound like love. Would there be love when a parent tells a child, get out, get away from me, I reject you? And yet today, that same Jesus that will say, depart from me, workers of iniquity, <coughs> I never knew you, is able to say unto you, well done, welcome. If you were to put your faith and your belief in that Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. If you are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not ever hear, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. You will never hear that. If you are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will get that love of God. But if you reject Jesus Christ, it's the wrath of God. As long as you're living and breathing, you have opportunity to receive that love of God. But reject it and die with the rejection of Jesus Christ. There will be no more love. There will be no more mercy. And the God of love will say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the gift of God that is eternal life. Receive the Son to receive eternal life. God is love. And that love was shed abroad upon the sufferings and the death according to the scriptures of Jesus. That we may have life. And that Jesus Christ was buried. And he arose again according to the scriptures. If your Jesus is still on the cross, you're lost and going to hell. If your Jesus is the Easter Bunny, you are going to die and end up in hell. If your Jesus is Santa Claus, you will die and go to hell. Satan comes with many aliases. Satan comes as a religion. Pick one. There's many. Satan comes as many characters, and I'll mention a few. But Satan will not come. Satan will not come in the name and the finished work of Jesus Christ. Satan may come as Jesus, and poor, uh, Paul has warned us in the book of Corinthians that there are another Jesus. And you've got to make sure you have the biblical Jesus to be saved. You see, a Jesus that you can eat and drink is unable to save you. A Jesus that came to North America cannot save you. A Mary Jesus, M-A-R-Y Jesus, 
cannot see. A Jesus that is not God is unable to save you. But Jesus, born of a virgin, of the tribe of Judah, who is God, who is the Son of God, who is of Israel, who is sent by God, who came by God, who came on his own, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. The Jesus is able to save your soul. The same one that said, Jesus saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You may think you want the love of God. But do you know who the love of God is? Do you know Jesus Christ? That baby that was born in Bethlehem grew up and died on that cross. He came down off that cross. He is no longer on that cross. The Jesus of the Bible is seated at the right hand of the Father right now. God approves of this message. God does not approve of religion. God does not approve of works. God does not approve of you being good. God approves on you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You think your television or your radio evangelist loves you? Have him come by your hospital bed and visit you. And yet God, through Jesus Christ and your belief on him, he will not only come with you in that, on that hospital bed, but he'll be with you when you got on that hospital bed. And he will not leave you on that hospital bed. Family and friends may go home from visiting you. Maybe your preacher will go home from visiting you in the hospital. But if you are saved and believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, He will never, ever forsake you. Will that television preacher visit you when you die? Will that pearly smiling man do your service at your grave? And yet when you die as a Christian, when you die believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And when you die, to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. It's that plain and simple. Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. You must put your faith in belief. You must believe. Your mother can't do it for you, though she's probably on her knees. She's in tears over you to get saved. Your father cannot save you. Your pastor, your priest, your rabbi, your iman cannot save you. Only Jesus Christ is able to save you when you put your faith and trust forever it's the glory of God it is the love of God it is Jesus Christ
There is no going to heaven without the love of God. And that love of God is Jesus Christ. And I've already told you, be careful. Because there are other Jesuses out there. And if you got the wrong Jesus, you will go to the wrong place. God manifested in the flesh. And the God of the creation. And the God of all gods. And the God of the Bible. Is the God that suffered and died on Calvary's cross. And if we reject, if you reject that God, that way, that truth, that love, God will reject you. And you will hear from the words of the love of God. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. If you're to believe on the Lamb of God, which will take away your sin, you will hear the love of God. You will hear the Creator. You will hear the Savior, the Lamb of God, say, Well done. You can get a well done from the love of God, or you can get a depart from me by rejecting the love of God. It's your choice. I've done my part. My part is I have believed on Jesus Christ. And with that, the Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. I've done my part. You have heard the part of God. You have heard the way of God. Now, to be saved or to be lost, it's your choice. You must make the move. Do I believe on Christ or do I reject Jesus Christ? Do I go to heaven or do I go to hell? And you will not go to heaven without Jesus Christ. You can only get to heaven by the way that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's your access to God. That is the love of God. There's no games, there's no gimmicks. There's no Tootsie Rolls. It's believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. You can do whatever you want to do. But if you do not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not get to heaven. You will go to hell. If you put all your sins and all your faith and repent and receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, then you will get to heaven. There's no good wishes. There's no good intention. Heaven is by the good one. And the good one is Jesus Christ.
Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Any other way is hell. If you do not want to go to heaven, and you want to party in hell, don't do nothing at all. But I'm here to tell you that there is no party in hell. There is no joy in hell. There is no love in hell. There is no peace in hell. There is no long suffering in hell. That comes by the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, does not go to hell. You cannot have what God is where God's not going. You cannot receive of God where God is not going. And God does not go to hell. And since God is not going to hell, you will not find love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience. You'll get what Satan gets. Wrath, misery, torments. And once you enter into hell, there's no coming back. You can't do a U-turn. You can't reset the game once you enter into hell. Oh, I know somebody who died. No, they didn't die. Because listen, when you die, that's it. You're done. You're in a grave. That's death. I don't care what doctors say. The Bible says death is when you're dead. That's it. You're in the grave. And Jesus is not going to come back just to resurrect your body like he did Lazarus or like Ezekiel done. I mean, uh, Isaiah, no. Uh, Elijah and Elisha. That's not going to happen today. So you need not worry from here to the rapture about any resurrection. Now after the ra rapture, it will be resurrection. But a man that died, 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 and goes into hell, he don't come back. And a man that dies in Christ and goes to heaven, he don't want to come back. Ask Paul. <laughs> See, death is final. And the Bible says that there is an afterlife. Heaven or hell, that's it. Heaven by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Hell. By anything you want to do. Join a religion, that'll get you to hell. Be good, that'll get you to hell. Join in a cult. That'll get you to hell. Do drugs. That'll get you to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will not go to hell. Thank you. Hell is real just because, not just because your preacher air conditioned the place. He might find himself in there. There's no air conditioning in hell. There's no alcohol in hell. Alcohol burns. Hell is fire. Duh. Hell is darkness. You won't see your friends. And you might find out when you get to hell, they're not really your friends. <laughs> oh, when I die, my friends are going to burn candles and pay the priest. What if they hated you? What if the Catholic Church anathanized you and said you're just... 
How about just believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be yeah. saved? Preachers, pastors, television evangelists, radio evangelists, rabbis, priests, they're all going to die. They're all going to go into the grave. Jesus Christ died and went into the grave according to the scriptures, and yet he came out of that grave and seated at the right hand of the Father and wanting to save your soul now. Don't put off. You don't know when death is coming. In the love of God. Preacher, you don't preach enough love. The love of God, he says, go in the world and preach the gospel that you believe. I'm doing it. And the love of God, he's giving you ears to hear the gospel. And the love of God is if you were to call out to that God, Jesus Christ, to ask to be saved, to ask that you repent of your sin, that you will truly trust upon Jesus Christ. He's wanting to save your soul. He's wanting to put your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. There is no amazing grace without Jesus Christ. It would be amazing hell. Amazing torment. There is no purgatory. There's never been a purgatory. You do not go out and populate planets. You do not want to go through the tribulation period. You do not want to trust in Mary. You do not want to put your trust in your pastor. You want to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Mary said, whatsoever my son saith, do it. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. He didn't say trust in religion, he said trust in him. He didn't say be good. He said trust in him. You think you're good? The Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. There are none righteous. No, not one. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And in your sin you will not come before God. But you'll be cast out. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. But the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, is able to put your name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. The Lamb of God is able to save your soul and save your soul for all eternity. There's no good hoping to get to heaven. It's by believing. Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. For he that has the Son, capital S-O-N, has everlasting life. He that has not the Son, capital S, O, N, shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. It's the Bible. It's the Bible right here. I know the Bible very well. Well, if you got other reasons, then you don't know it. You got an invitation Bible. You got the devil's Bible. Because the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Nothing else will save your soul. You'll find that fault. You'll be found missing. You'll be following a gap that can't be filled but only by Jesus Christ. For all have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God. In order to come to God and undo that shortness, you must come by only by Jesus Christ. Only by Jesus Christ. Only by Jesus Christ. Only. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Only. Feel what you feel. Say what you say. Believe what you believe. But God has written in His words by Jesus Christ 
and by Jesus Christ alone. Nothing else, no one, no way, no thing can save your soul but by Jesus Christ only. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. It didn't say, preach love and joy, Easter bunnies and Santa Claus. It says, preach the gospel. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I don't stand here as religion. I don't stand here as a Baptist. I don't stand here as a Catholic. I stand here as a Christian saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. With love, joy, and peace. You may not believe it because you may not have the fruit of the Spirit. You may have the fruit of Satan, anger, hatred, lies. The Bible says Satan is the liar and the father of it. Satan is the murderer. You know, Islam and Catholics have killed Bible-believing Christians. That don't sound like love to me. That sounds like hatred. And yet Jesus Christ gave his life. Jesus Christ suffered and died upon Calvary's cross that he might be the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You need the sinless perfection of blood of the Lamb to save your soul. No blood, no salvation. No blood of the Lamb, no salvation. No Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny will get you into hell. By the way, it's not called Easter, it's called Esther. She's in disguise. And she can't do nothing for you. Unlike Jesus Christ, the blessed hope. Jesus Christ, the glorious hope. Hey, Jesus Christ is my hope. Jesus Christ is my peace. And Jesus Christ is the reason why if I were to die, I'd go to be with him. Jesus Christ is the reason if the rapture would happen, I won't be here. Jesus Christ is the reason my name is the Lamb's Book of Life. Jesus Christ is the reason my sins are under the blood. Jesus Christ for me is the way, He's my truth, and He's my life. And you can't talk me, you cannot educate me, you cannot get me out of that belief upon Jesus Christ. And he can be your truth, he can be your way, and he can be your life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Glory to God in the highest. Are you washed in the blood? In the blood of the Lamb. The forever flowing Lamb that is able to save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. <laughs> give me one, give me one. If you really want satisfaction, well, that's a big word. Satisfaction. To be satisfied. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Now that's satisfying. The drink of the Spirit. 
You can have your whiskey. You can have your alcohol. But once I drank of Jesus Christ, I dumped that stuff down the sewer. I have not needed that stuff no more. I have drank of the water of life and oh, forget satisfied. I am refreshed in the water of life. I have eaten of the bread of life. Oh, I am full and full. I have come to the wellspring, and it's deep, and it's wide, and it's looking for you to come and draw. It's looking for you to come and believe that Jesus is able to save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. Don't blame me for preaching. Blame God. God's the, in the scriptures, Mark chapter 16. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. The Bible told me to do it. God has told me to do it, but I'd love to do it. I love the name of Jesus. I love his gospel. Because for me, he suffered and died according to the scriptures. For me, he was buried. And for me, he arose again according to the scriptures. And he could be for you too. Man, you can have the greatest love of God. And the greatest love of God is Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And when the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave, love becomes charity. And I don't mean to a special this or special that. I mean God showed his charity toward you by sending Jesus Christ. God is not willing that any should perish. But God cannot save you in your sins. God is a holy and righteous God. He says, be ye holy, for I am holy. And only way we can be holy is by Jesus Christ, the righteous. Listen. Listen. You come to God through Jesus. You do not come to God through religion. You do not come to God by yourself. You do not come to God by your parents. You do not come to God by Godparents. You come to God through Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. He knew no sin, and yet he bore our sin on that cross through his blood. And not only that, but the Bible says that that blood on that cross, Acts 20:28, 20, is God's blood. So if you're a Jehovah Witness, you are not in with God Jehovah. Because God Jehovah is also Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is Jehovah. And you need God to save your soul. And if Jesus is not God, he's unable to save you. There is none that do it good. No, not one. You're not good enough. You're not righteous enough. 
You come short. And to fill that shortness, you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Evolution has gaps. Evolution has no savior. Creation has gaps. And Jesus Christ fills that void. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Sinning makes you short. You thought smoking made you short. Sinning makes you short of God. And Jesus that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the one that fills in the gap. And that gap is the cross. That gap is not church. That gap is not religion. That gap is not baptism. It's not charity. It's not being an American. The gap that will get you to heaven is by the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's the gap filler. Fill in that gap between you and God with anything else. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Fill that gap with Jesus Christ. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou now in the joy of the peace. You want to make the angels in heaven glad, the Bible says? Be that one sinner that repents and gets right. And then there's joy in heaven. There's no joy in heaven of hitting a home run. There's no joy in heaven of making a field go. 400 right-hand turns don't please God. Jesus Christ, please God. The batterment, the abuse, the torture upon Jesus, the sacrifice of the Lamb of God was pleasing. And you're going to go to church twice a year and you think God's going to go, Oh boy, look how great they are. It's how great thou art, not how great you are, according to the hymn. Some people say, how great I am. No, the I am that came to Moses was Jehovah. And you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, I am the bread. I am the water. I am the light. I am the truth. I am the way. Jehovah. Jesus. Jesus means Jehovah saves. You know what the Pope means? No hope in the Pope. That's what it means. You know what your pastor means? It means he's a sinner who's going to die and is unable to save your soul. You know what your church means? It's a building. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. How great thou art, Jesus. How great thou art. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus says, I am the way, there is no other way. Think what you want. Believe what you will. Only Jesus saves.
religion is man-made, but Jesus Christ is God-approved. God approves of this message. Don't vote for Jesus. Receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. This message has been purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ without spot. Acts 20:28, 20, the very blood of God is able to wash away your sins. Are you washed in the blood? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Even so, come Lord Jesus. You can do anything Satan wants you to do. Join a church, watch a program, give money. But, God's way is Jesus. I cannot say enough. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus says, I am the way, don't come by a religion. When Jesus said, I am the way, don't come by any other way. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. How about you? The Bible says, These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. I know it. And it's quite possible that I woke up this morning just so I could tell you about Jesus. I don't know. I don't know what the next second, the next minute, the next hour, next day, next week, next month. Next, I don't know what the Lord behold. But you might be here to hear about the gospel of Jesus Christ because you may. You will die one day. When? I don't know. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Believe on your church. You'll go to hell. Believe on how good you are. You'll go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Nothing simpler.